Time to get our thrift on. Frizz is killing it. She's doing great. I'm finding stuff. I am not finding things. This is just a master in her elements. You want to see what I got so it's like watching Tiger you see Woods what I got golf. So far? Yeah. yeah. Well, this is what you got. Oh, I did find something. Yeah. New Attack J. McLaughlin. Although it's men's new that I don't know how well men's does. I don't think it because well, we have a couple that haven't sold. <laughs> but it's New Attacks. Yeah. Okay, this is uh, cool. You're a little less cool if you get cool now. Cool. It's, it's cooling off. This is exciting. Mother. Mother jeans. Nice. These are... The insider crop step fray. Insider crop step fray. Is cropped and or skinny okay if it's mother jeans? It's mother jeans, so yes, it's still okay. Mother is and the they're exception. Not really, they're not skinny. They're not skinny. And then. Very colorful. Gallo. Good brand. Always does well. Linen. Nice, nice job, Fris. All right, you guys, taking you to the bins now. Here we have a Patricia Nash bag. Great brand to look out for. This already sold. Next, we have these brand new bed suit sandals. I was so excited to find these. These definitely came home with me. And they're size 11. Should do pretty well. And let's see here. Next is these Guillermo Rota. I am butchering that name, but these are very fancy shoes. Not sure how they'll resell, but I couldn't pass them up. Here we have some Vionic loafers. Vionic's a great brand to look out for. These already sold. Next we have this BDG jacket. I really wanted to pick this up, but it had stains and the string was gone. So I passed. And here, great find. Always find Lululemon at the bins and most of the time always pick it up. Here's a men's Lululemon polo. Came home with me. Next are these Miss Ook pants. Another good brand to look out for, especially at the bins. So got those. This is a Columbia jacket. I typically do not pick up Columbia, but it was at the bins and the specific style of this jacket had 100% sell through rate. So I did decide to pick this up. All right, here we have some Ellisy. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. I picked them up, not sure how they'll do, but I thought they were cute. And then we have a new with tag Lands End men's flannel lined shirt. Here is a Faherty. Guys, Faherty at the bins. Yes, definitely coming home with me. This is so cute. And some new with tag Levi's. If it's new with tag, I typically pick it up. So new with tag Levi's at the bins. Yes. Um, this is a Beast Spice Beast. I don't know what kind of bag it is, but the comps look good on this. I have not posted this one yet. I still have to clean it, but comps look great. These are some really brand new looking Tory Burch sandals already sold. Here we have some Spanx leggings. Pick those up. And then next, this was sitting on top of an old bin, guys. And this is a gorgeous Lululemon oversized crop sweatshirt. I was so excited to find this. It already sold. Here we have this Brochu Walker, which is a very expensive brand. This is a 100% silk blouse, so I definitely picked this up. And next we have a Patagonia jacket. I'm finding so much Patagonia lately, and I'm here for it. Here we have a vintage Ralph Lauren sweater. I always pick up vintage Ralph Lauren knit sweaters, and this one already sold. As you saw in the beginning of our video, we went to the Goodwill racks. We call the normal Goodwill stores that you would go to the racks. And then the bins are obviously the outlets, which have bins in them. <laughs> and the racks have racks in them. Pretty, pretty straightforward. But you saw Frizz. She was doing well. I see that video game PS4 case. Open it up. Nothing inside. But she was hitting it good. So I attacked this next rotation. Normally, they make you wait until every single bin comes out and then they basically say go ahead and everyone starts going through. But depending upon the worker, sometimes they just let you dive at it as they come out. And that is what happened here. So with that, chaos kind of ensues. 
We typically like a little more structure, but the chaos, it just, it's okay. It's fun, right? It's, it's all about the hunt. So I'm trying to get ahead and stay ahead of these bins coming out so I don't get stuck behind so I can get on these new bins as they come out. This bin wasn't too bad. As you can see, I have that one Carhartt shirt there. That other light blue shirt that's kind of flying around in there is another Carhartt as well. I end up giving those to a couple of the vintage kids that were next to me because they can sell those a lot quicker than we can. Um, any of their pop-up shows or Depop, stuff like that, those will move a little bit quicker where we would put it on eBay or Posh and with shipping and stuff like that. They just don't move the same. So we share the wealth. We share the love. We totally believe in karma. So you got to put the good out there and get the good back. So hopefully by giving some items away we we just we give ourselves some good karma but guys look at this move this is a pro level move i walk away i walk away i sneak out i come to the other end and then you're gonna watch me turn the corner see everybody diving in on that that one well i know there's new coming through and i want to be the first one at it everyone's got to get out of the way so I'm going through trying to find some things. There's that UNC. We're in North Carolina. We get a lot of UNC college stuff like that. I then find this Spurs shirt that I thought was the San Antonio Spurs shirt. Um, you'll see I look at it. I hold on to it for a minute, but I end up putting it back before the day was over. But still nothing. I'm coming up empty. Frizz is finding stuff left and right. She found stuff at the racks. You already saw what she found at the bins. Sometimes that's the worst because you're you're stressing a little bit you're trying to find something and that's when it backfires you start making mistakes because you want to find something you want to validate your time but sometimes you gotta know when to hold them and you gotta know when to fold them i'm looking at anything just trying to make it happen that's frizz next to me she's shooting it down but just stay tuned because I'm going to find some fun treasures in a moment. But if you guys have not yet subscribed, please subscribe, hit that like, leave some comments. We got new bins coming through and you're going to see right here that I find a couple little vintage treasures. Frizz, she's next to me. She's not looking for vintage. She never does. But I notice a crew neck that lends me to believe there there might be some other things afoot that is a cashmere sweater that i think frizz ended up keeping but look at this i see this vintage north carolina crew neck that i end up putting back but that makes me think that there might be some other vintage and there it is that is an elon basketball shirt on the screen star tag single stitch so now i'm getting excited the ears are perking up. I'm digging. I'm trying to find more. And I find one other one that's really cool. With vintage shirts, obviously, you want to look for single stitch. There are certain brands you want to look for, um, like the Screen Star tags and Screen Star Best and things like that. Um, but keep in mind that a lot of them, you know, they're $15, $20 shirts. But it's more just the excitement and the fun in finding it. That is a jacket that is for airline stewardesses we've sold those before they're a little bit slow mover so i tend to just put them back but here i'm starting to find my vintage tingles they're coming out they're coming through here look at this ah oh, i found another vintage crew neck which again i give to the vintage kids because they can move those a little bit faster but I get pretty excited here in a moment. There it is, guys. Look at that. I see Duke. I see 1992. Had to snag it. But again, that's it. You got to dig through the bins. We appreciate you guys being here so much. If you have not subscribed yet, please do. If you haven't watched these two videos, here you go.